Caleb Weston in the post. Looks like they're going to go one-on-one, -on -one, not going to double-team him early. Getting bodied up by Shaq Dorson, and he gets the two. Full of buckets in the final two minutes in that game against Ohio State. It pops out from the corner for Andre Wesson. And Eugene Omaruri with the first two. The man decided to come out, gave his team a big boost. Dislocated his kneecap in that last meeting against Ohio State. Got the one foot fade away for Caleb Wesson. He's got a quick four points. Empty handed again. And again, all six points have come in the paint here for Rutgers. So we're really looking to get it again, make it all eight. And he really took it at Weston that time. This young man with the basketball, Miles Johnson, I really like his game. I don't think Rutgers utilized him enough on the offensive end. Baker with the kick out to Mathis for three. One of those blue guys, one of those blue collar guys with the latest run now for Rutgers. 7 nothing in the last minute and a half and that drought ending there by Caleb Wesson. Back of the first half for Caleb Wesson, 21 points, 8 of 9 from the field. This Buckeyes on top by 8. Non-conference loss to Syracuse. Steve Pipeline said, of course, they, they look at that. They actually work on this job. Day, though they might not play it in the game. There's a nice take from Andre West. Went to Lockwell. He wasn't on the bench to start the game. First TV timeout. Here comes Willis, a.k.a. <laughs> Eugene Omaru. Out on the floor. You know what I mean? Is that what it does? Yeah, your long johns and your, your character, your boots and everything. I was going to say, it brings out the layers. I'm not sure about the character. That one hitting every single inch of the ring before it falls through for Luther Mahomes. What he sees here. Look at Jorson and... Caleb Wesson. Yeah, that the Buckeyes defense. Here's Wesson trying to go on the work. Body and up Dorson. Fade away. What a half Caleb Wesson has had. Get this on Caleb and get him used to tipping the ball away and some of the double teams that he sees a little bit more this year. Oh, wow. The other way, out of the timeout, that's Dorson with the end one. Getting the rock. That was an excellent post feed, by the way, but the big fella with the left off the glass. Showing the touch. Taking the contact, the concentration. There's something. I can see the direct contact. Woods, meanwhile, into the lane for two. He's looking for a shot. He's making things happen. He's aggressive defensively. Here's Harper. His first shot. They need more of that from him. Give him yet another touch. Again, it's Johnson defending him. Jackson out to Muhammad. Rattles it around. Ohio State in this one. With Lee Guardian on the Rudy. Wow. I think he might be the most patient guy in the post in the cop. Guys who are Warriors, Eugene Omaruyi. If you look in the dictionary for Warrior, his picture is right there. Nice finish on the bucket. Rutgers trying to change defenses a little bit, going back to man-to-man. -man. Oh, that's great. Weston with a turnaround. By the way, those were his first points of the second half. It's somewhat of a disappointing season. Oh, for sure. A lot of expectations, expecting to make the NCAAs. And you could argue, really, Ohio State is kind of in that. But that could change if the Big Ten and those teams in particular don't have a good month here. Oh, shovel pass as Orange came over. On 50-50 plays, Watch the backside hustle, Harnes, not allowing Shaq Carter an open look. One more look, the defensive back flow. Take a look. Afterwards. Look. Style points, hey. I mean, it's pretty obvious. They saved an open bucket right there. I mean, really baseline. They really want to try to avoid playing four freshmen at a time if they can. They had everybody up in the air on that. We call that the popcorn pop. Ohio State again looking to turn the corner. Jamie likes to forget. Adding to the lead with a little pad. Keyshawn Woods for three. Even Wisconsin, they've played the top teams in the conference. You got Michigan State and Iowa and Maryland and Purdue and Michigan. I mean, that's a gauntlet. That's the toughest stretch as any team has had so far in the Big Ten. This has been a big game for Keyshawn Woods as well. Woods, the kick out to Jackson with a little cherry on top for Ohio State. Improved to four and six now in conference play. And some opportunities here to pick up some wins on the horizon, perhaps, for Ohio State. A depleted roster for Chris Holton.